What's up YouTube, it's Shane coming at you with another video and today I thought I'd discuss you know some of the things that I thought would be good for a, a good camping bag or a bug out bag or you know just just good necessities and all to have in a good like I said backpack bag car bag you know whatever, whatever the case may be that you have it for um, this bag costed me roughly around about $65 $70 give or take a little bit um, I've also added some things and I figured I'd start with those and then come to, uh, what come with the bag. What come with the bag, some pretty neat stuff. It's, it's pretty cool. But, uh, anyway, without further ado, let's get started. All right. So the first thing that I got in my bag and probably one of the most important things of all is a multi-tool. And you can't go wrong with a good multi-tool. This little guy can do so many things for you. It's unreal from a knife, saw blade, tree, uh, cut down little trees if you needed to, open cans, screwdrivers, wire cutters, pliers, you name it. You cannot go wrong with a good little multi-tool. All right, next, I got a blade sharpener to sharpen my multi-tool for when it gets dull. Plus, I got a, a hunting knife in here we'll get to next, but... You want to keep your blade sharp that way, one, you don't have to work harder. And when you have a sharp knife, you, you'll be able to cut stuff better so you don't have to worry about cutting yourself. So I definitely think a knife sharpener or a wet rock, either one should be in your bag. Okay. Next, now this is something for me personally, just because I think it's a good idea, but I put mouthwash in mine. Let's say... I don't know, you get lost hiking in the woods or something and it's several days before somebody can find you. You don't want to make it that long and then come up on your last day with an abscessed tooth and you get sick and die from it. Because, I mean, you want, to, you want to be able to keep your mouth clean. So, And if you not necessarily have running water and what little water you have with you runs out, so at least be able to keep your mouth clean. So I think that's very important and a good necessity to have in a bag. Okay, next. Here. Next, I've got a box of ammo. Now, my everyday carry gun, which I'll show you guys here in a few, is a uh, 357 Magnum. Um, I've got some 158 grain jacketed hollow points. And I figured these with being a little bit heavier weight than normal, you know, 125 grain, 357s would be a good hunting caliber. So that way, if something happened and you needed to hunt for your food, you have you some backup ammo or, you know, just something bad happens and you need to be able to protect yourself for several days on end. It's good to have a box of ammo. You know, usually I keep two or three boxes, but I'm running a little shy, but I did want to at least show that I did keep one in here at all times. Um, so any, if you guys carry, which I highly, you know, I highly encourage it and recommend, make sure and keep you an extra box or two or three of ammo in your bag, along with, if you carry a semi-automatic, an extra mag or two. Apologize for the sloppiness, guys. I'm trying to keep it more like how you would actually have it. All right, now here's my hunting knife. Now it ain't nothing special. It's just a little ten dollar knife I found at a at a garage sale. Um, but I like it. It's nice. Got a nice, sturdy, thick blade. Real thick handle. You you know this knife will do you for a pretty good while. And you could skin something with it. You know whatever you need. Flint stick if you got one. Whatever the case may be, you'd be. Just be a good little knife. So you should have your good little knife plus a knife on in your pocket as well. Um, but yeah, just a good belt knife. You can't go wrong with a good belt knife. All right, next we have a hatchet. Now this little hatchet right here is awesome, man. This little thing weighs nothing. It's got a... Uh, Oh Lord, I can't think of the name of it. I apologize. Uh, crap. Anyway, it's it's light. I apologize. I can't remember the name of it now. If I remember it through the video, I'll let you guys know. But it's really, really light, nice and strong, sturdy. Got a really nice enforced blade, and 
I mean, that thing is, I, I don't know if this camera will do it justice or not, but that thing is razor sharp. I mean, it, it, you'd make some good light work for some firewood with it or... I mean, I, even even that being said, I mean, you could protect yourself with this thing if you absolutely had to. And one thing that I really love about this hatchet, if you'll see this little string down here, pull on it, and you got you a built-in flint stick. And that is a very key thing that I think people should have as, as an alternate way to start fire beside the lighter and matches, because they won't last forever. So you need to have a good way to make a fire. I love this little hatchet. This little thing's awesome. It come with a little machete that I had in here, but it was kind of too heavy with... You don't want your bag to be too heavy, obviously, because you want to be able to carry it. So I took the, the machete out, and I kept this nice little hatchet in there. Like I said, this little hatchet's awesome, man. If you can find one of these nice... I mean, this thing's not even five pounds. This little thing is awesome. I love it. Okay. I think that is everything that I have added. So now we'll move on to what's in that actually come with the bag. I found a zipper. There it is. All right, now what comes with this bad boy is awesome. I like I said, I. I I, I really enjoy what came with this bag. It's awesome and amazing. I, I, like I said, I really enjoy it. I do. I truly do. Uh, oh, I still do got my machete in here. Hold on. Wait a minute. I forgot. That's still in there. This thing is so light, I forgot it's still in there. This thing is really light, too. This is the uh, machete that come with it. It's got a nice brush guard on it. <laughs> That's funny. I forgot it was in there. That's awesome. Um... This thing's really light too, man. And one thing I really like about it is it's got a hand guard so you can protect your hand. And it's just a nice little short machete, good steel, nice and sharp. I love this little thing too, man. I'm glad I still had it in there to show you guys because this little thing's amazing. I bought this and that hatchet with the flint stick in it for, it, it wasn't much at all. Maybe 40 bucks, 30 bucks. I want to say it was more towards 30 bucks. It was a really good buy on it, but... Yeah, a machete or a hatchet, either one. I would prefer if you had to pick one, a hatchet, just because you can do a little more with a hatchet. But if you can put two in there like I did, like this little combo set, man, you can't go wrong. Okay, I apologize for that. I, like I said, I forgot. <laughs> it was so light, I forgot it was in there. So now we'll move on to what actually come with the bag. And I guess we'll start with the, with the obvious, you know, purified water. There he is. One, two, three, four, six packets of water in this little thing. Oh, I apologize. There is one, two, five. My bad. I apologize. There's five in here. That's nice purified water. You know, you should always have water. This one's also got a, a bladder bag. So that way, if you find, you know, water, you can bullet and put it in your bladder. Um, okay. Now we'll go to the food. This is a milk substitute. You know, you can make your whatever other food you decide to put in your bag. You know, you can make you some cereal or whatever, or have you some milk protein. Keep your strength up. Uh, next, we got hearty tortilla soup. You know, just that pretty much freeze-dried food or army packets. And it, you, I think all these have around about four servings. So, I mean, look. And there it's one, two, three, four, five of them in here. So, I mean, that lasts you, you know, if you eat right and conserve, that will last you about two weeks. So, I mean, that you can't go wrong there. And if you want to know what kind this come with, it was a tortilla soup, apple, cinnamon, cereal, oatmeal, um, Southwest rice and beans, uh, creamy pasta and vegetable rotten, and brown sugar and maple multigrain cereal, oatmeal. All right, now we'll move on to the cool stuff that come with this little bag. I love this stuff in here, man. It's awesome. Okay. So we have got in our little bag here an orange trash bag. 
orange trash bag this this can help you with a lot of things it can help you try to waterproof your shelter it's visible so people if you are lost in the woods for say you, you know they might be able to spot you a little easier i mean just you know a good little orange bag, orange trash bag okay now this one come with a dust mask for people that's got allergies or you know stuff that you don't need to be breathing in where you're at i mean that's a good little thing I believe to be in there, especially with somebody that has allergies. So if you have really bad allergies, definitely make sure and put one of these in your bag. All right. Out come with a little boiling pot, cooking pot. It's got a little handle on it here. I'm not going to unwrap it, but it's got a little handle on it. Probably, I'd say maybe two, three cups, maybe a little more. But, you know, just something you can cook with and whatnot. Get you some water out of a creek or whatever. Kleenexes, tissues, try to help you stay clean, be able to, you know, blow your nose or whatever, just stuff, you know, just tissues. Um, first aid kit, you definitely, definitely want to make sure you got a first aid kit. Now this one ain't nothing special, but it's got 10 plastic bandages of two different sizes. It's got two gauze pads, three alcohol cleaning pads, a butterfly closure, and 10 cotton Q-tips. So, I mean, nothing fancy, but just a little something, you know, you never know. You might get hurt or somebody else. Be able to, you know, keep yourself clean without getting infections. That's the last thing you want if the world goes to shit. Pardon my French. Okay. I play a deck, uh, playing card. Excuse me, I'm sorry. Um, just something to keep your mind occupied. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. And these are antiseptic wiping wipes. You know, just like I said, to help you keep yourself clean. Nothing wrong with that, obviously. All right, now we'll get to the more cooler stuff in here or that, I, that I'll really, you know, like and enjoy. Okay, we got a poncho. Something to help keep you dry. And if you absolutely had to, you could use it to help, like I said, make a shelter. You could tear it and use it and try to waterproof your shelter. You know, if, like I'm saying, you know, if you got lost in the woods, you know, keep you dry. Okay. Next, we got a multifunctional whistle, which this little thing is actually really cool. It is a whistle, a compass, a signal mirror, a capsule, and a flint. So you got an extra flint in here. Well, this well, this didn't come with one other flint. I was talking about my hatchet, but it's got a flint in there, so that way you can be able to start a fire. You know what? I've never looked at this thing, so let's look at it with you guys. Comes in a neat little package here. Oh yeah, that's cool. But that's what it looks like. It's got your compass on the bottom. I don't know if it works or not, so you know, don't really rely so much on the capsule, but. I mean, on the compass, but I mean, that's pretty cool, though. Got a whistle to help somebody find your signal. You got stuff you can hold in here. And like I said, it's also got a flint with it. So that's, that's pretty neat. Not bad. Okay, next, you got a squeeze dynamo flashlight. Now, this little thing's cool. I've looked at it. This little thing's awesome, and it is bright. So you got this little lever over here. You take and push it down, and it pops this little thing out. And you squeeze it. And then you turn your light on. I don't know if that shows any justice, but that little thing is bright. And it lasts, you can pump it just a few times like I did, and that'll last a good 10, 15 minutes uh, easily. So you want something that you don't have to rely, rely with batteries. I mean, if you do have a battery flashlight, that's okay. There's nothing wrong with it. Just make sure and pack extra batteries. But I prefer one that I don't have to worry about batteries. Okay. Next, we've got an emergency blanket. Now that right there, I think, along with your multi-tool, is another big necessity. This will keep you warm. It'll help keep you dry. 
And like I said, with your poncho and your thing, you can also make a shelter out of it if you absolutely had to. And it keeps all your body heat in. It's actually a lot more comfortable than people. a lot of people might think. I mean, it's not no home blanket, don't get me wrong, but a little thing's not bad. I've actually checked this out. It's not bad. He definitely keeps you warm. Okay. And then this little thing right here is pretty cool. I've not messed with it. If you guys would like to see how some more of this stuff works in this bag, just leave me some comments asking, and I'll be more than happy to do so. But this is a little cooking stove, and I actually would like to get this thing out and check out check it out and see how it works. But it comes with a little table that you can set it on. It has fuel tablets, and you can also, I think, make make like a little coal fire underneath it, and you could also use coals from like your fire i mean I, I don't know i'll have to find out for sure so don't hold me to that but i don't see why you couldn't um like i said it's got uh four tablets and i'm i'm sure you can probably buy tablets somewhere so that'd be no big deal um i thought that little thing is neat man because i mean that box i mean look how little that thing is i'm recording from my phone by the way if that tells you anything that little box is little that's awesome and two last things but not least waterproof matches like i was saying earlier about your flint stick you know eventually your lighter or matches will run out hopefully things won't be bad that long but you never know so having some waterproof matches and a backup lighter which i keep a lighter too in my pocket um you know just a good way to start a fire definitely have you some waterproof matches and hey, throw you a couple lighters in there for that matter but make sure and have a flint stick too because like i said that stuff won't last forever and then last but not least which i think is a pretty good necessity too is purifying tablets and these will let me read this so i don't tell you guys a lie one tablet will produce Oh crap, I just seen it. Two quarts of water. So about about a half a gallon, give or take. And then, and then after you put it in there, within 30 minutes, it's ready to drink. So that right there is awesome. And another thing that I'm going to buy that I don't have to show you guys yet that's definitely going this bag is a life straw. I've, unfortunately, where I live, I've not been able to find one but i'm definitely going to buy one to put in this bag so that's a definite recommendation anything else that i miss guys please by all means you know leave comments saying you know hey i you know if i were you i would put this in my bag or that in my bag and if this helped anybody which i really hoped it did please you know subscribe and uh if anybody like i said if anybody's interested just let me know i'll be more than happy to show off some of these some of how this stuff works and if you're a gun person like me, we can't go out without not showing the gun I carry every day. This is my, and it is loaded, so you notice my hand's not on the trigger or anything, is a Ruger LCR 357 Magnum. And anybody that's watched one of my old videos, you know that I used to carry a Glock 19. Make a long story short, I unfortunately had to end up selling it. And I finally had saved up to get me a new gun. And I've always been a big revolver guy. Just, you know, some as as I don't know, it's just one of the first guns I ever bought and I just fell in love. And this is why I carry every day. Everywhere I go, this thing goes. And it's a sweet little shooting gun. Uh if you guys would like to see more on this little gun too, just let me know. I'll be more than happy to make a video on it. Um yeah. So like I said, these are just things that I think is good to go in a bug out bag. Uh, like I said, if this helped anybody, I hoped it did. Um, and I'll catch you guys later. Have a good one.